Okay, let's talk about lenses. When shooting with the Canon 7D, uh, specifically for video mode, sharpness of the lens uh, really isn't all that important. Sure, it's important for stills, but it's not really that important for taking video. So what I would recommend is getting uh, at least three different zoom lenses to cover a, a whole range from 11 millimeter out to 150 millimeter. And my number one choice for a wide angle lens would be the Tokina 11 to 16 uh, f2.8 all the way through. Um, that lens comes in a, a EOS mount and it is for the, the cropped sensor and it's a great lens it's a fantastic lens in fact out of all the lenses that i'm telling you about it's probably the best it's used with the red one uh, it's rehoused and put in a pl mount it's a fantastic lens so if you need a wide angle lens uh, the tokina 1116 should be your number one choice the next lens would be the the tamron 17 to 50 f 2.8 um, all the way through that lens, they have a brand new version of it that's uh, stabilized, and that can be very, very useful for handheld shooting. Uh, it's a good lens as well. Uh, I've seen uh, the, the full frame version of the lens, and it takes excellent pictures. Uh, I'm sure it's very, very close with this, and for video mode, uh, it's excellent. The most important thing is getting the fastest lens possible for video mode. It's not the sharpness, it's going to be the speed of the lens, and especially having an aperture that doesn't move in case you need to shoot at 2.8 and zoom. You definitely want one that has the lowest f-stop the entire range of the lens. And so the next lens on the list, it's the Sigma APO 50 to 150 millimeter f2.8 lens. It's also a great lens. All three of these lenses are great for video mode and you'll have your entire range covered. If you um, I mean, primes usually are faster, and I definitely recommend having a few uh, primes on hand too. If you're looking at primes, look for anything 50 millimeter and under. Uh, some of those can be fast. The Canon 50 1.8 is a great lens. It's faster than the zoom lenses, so you can use it at night and not have to gain up as much. So that's a great lens. There's also many other prime lenses that you can use with this camera, and they'll look great. You can even use ones that have a Nikon mount. So for most situations, I'd stick with those three lenses. Uh, it'll cover the range that you're used to and probably a camcorder. All three of them are very sharp. All three of them can be controlled by the camera and are even fairly good for taking pictures, but they'll be excellent in video mode.